what's up guys my name is AFC Adinho welcome to another PvP video I'm bringing my this or this HO team again and I'm playing against Reds he's uh, he has been using this semi stylish team for a while I kind of know what it's about so I'm going to lead up with Scissor um, Scissor can pretty much U-turn on anything on his team except Zeptos but I don't think he leads he will lead Zeptos because the Nidals might definitely be an option <laughs> to consider. So he goes into Chansey. Uh, I think I'm just going to go straight for the U-turn into my Cordant. Because I, uh, I can definitely see a Stealth Rocks coming, but... Um, and if he poisons me, so be it. If he clicks Toxic on, on Scissor there, then he's, he's a real man. But he went for the Stealth Rocks indeed, and now I get the knockoff. Um, Everluck definitely coming in, but getting rid of those leftovers can de definitely help me knocking it out. Um, crunch is an option, but I think go just going for the knockoff and knock knocking off the leftovers. Because there's really no other play for him than bringing in his Everluck. And the way of knocking this out is actually getting up my rocks. But I, I don't want to go hard Garchomp here. Obviously he's a nice type. So what I want, what I can do, since Mew won't probably be that useful in this game, um, I'm going into Mew. As he went for the recover there, indeed. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going for the nasty plot. As my opponent decides to go into Zapdos. So, I, I'm at plus 2 with basically full HP. So I'm just going to click Psychic here. Chansey can definitely be coming in. But no, he decides to go for Discharge. So I get a lot of damage off here. Oh no, no, I got paralyzed. Please, 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 please. Okay, we, we, we do break through. And we don't see leftovers on this thing. So, I'll just go for Psychic again. Or oh, I could actually click Aurasphere. But, if he roosts, then Psychic is definitely going to kill him. If I don't get paralyzed. But he goes for a heat wave actually. And yeah, the Zapdos is gone, which is really nice for me because that opens up the game for my scissor. That really opens up the game for my scissor. Uh now Chansey does come in. Uh, I can definitely see a soft boil, but I'm going hard into Garchomp. I want to I want to straight those style rocks. So, uh, yeah, I'll go hard guard jump. Yes. Um. Actually, he went for seismic those instead of soft boiling up. So he takes some extra damage, and I can definitely see a hard Everluck here. So I'm going to click Stealth Rocks. As Everluck does indeed come in. And what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to click Sword Stance in his face. I don't think he clicks Avalanche because I have a Scissor in the back. He's most likely clicking Rapid Spin. I actually clicked Earthquake, so my Stealth Rocks are going to stay up. So what I'm actually do going to do now is I click Earthquake, and this is definitely a 2-hit KO. He also lost his Zapdos, so he has no immunity to this attack. 59%, nice. And he actually went for the Rapid Spin there. So, take some extra damage, and I'm going to click Stealth Rocks here. We are going to click Stealth Rocks. Quagsire comes in. And... Could click Outrage here, but he might recover spam here since he's unaware, uh, unaware Cliff, uh, Quagsire anyway. I'm going into my Mew here to scare this. Because for Skull, actually, I still think Mew is faster than Quagsire, even even paralyzed. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to double into my Guard Chomp. That's the play, and otherwise I bring in Nine Tail. So, um. Garchomp got a rock, so it's fine. But I think he's going into Chansey here. Yeah, okay, he does go into Chansey because he knew my meal was specially offensive. And yeah, Chansey is gonna lift the Earthquake, so he might actually stay in and soft boil. But he, he doesn't know that I have Outrage. So I can click Outrage here and knock him out. That does mean he is able to bring in, bring in his Mimikyu, but I do have... Nine tails with Aurora Veil in the back, which is faster. And I do have a scissor in the back. 
So I'm not too afraid of the Mimikyu's. I'm clicking out Rage if he stays in, he dies. Okay, he does stay in. So that's great for us. Getting rid of the Chansey. And we also we still have Stealth Rocks up. So that's really good for us. Mimikyu comes, comes in now. And yeah, he's definitely clicking Sword Dance. He has to free Sword Dance. There's no reason not to click it. Yeah, he does go for Sword Dance. And I'm just going to stay in. Click Earthquake. He's definitely Shadow Sneaking. Uh, keeping the disguise for him is really nice. Yeah. He does go for Shadow Sneak. Knocks me out. Uh, but now I get to bring in my uh, my Nine Tails for free. And I basically get to click Auroraville. I'm faster. Shadow Sneak doesn't knock me out. And we're at, behind the Auroraville, I can force it out with my Scissor. So, Nine Tails also gets to do something in this game. Let's just get the Auroraville up. As he goes for Drain Punch, that's okay. And I'm pretty confident that I would live Shadow Sneak from here as well because I did take the Drain Punch. So I'm going to go for Blizzard, break the disguise. As he goes for Sword Stance again, yeah. That's why I didn't want to bring in my Scissor. Now I just click Blizzard, get some damage off. Forty-seven. He goes for a drain punch. He still doesn't knock me out. So Nine Tails actually putting in some work. Uh, yeah, he's definitely shadow sneaking. Yep. Nine Tails goes down, and now I get the free switch into my scissor. And the hail will stop next turn, so that means I won't get the hail damage. And Stealth Rocks plus Bullet Punch should put Quagsire in U-turn range. So, my opponent decides to sec, um, sec the Avalok now, which means my Stealth Rocks are going to stay up. And now we can actually go into Quagsire and recover. Oh wait, Quagsire actually was full health. Why didn't he bring in Quagsire? Huh, interesting. Maybe he was predicting the U-turn, I guess. Um... I thought Quagsire was low for some reason. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to U-turn. And now I get the second Mew on the Stealth Rocks. I don't think he clicks Recover here. Goes for Scald. And he's in knockoff range for my Crudon. So I get to bring in my Crudon now. And I'm just going to go for the knockoff. He decides to sack Mimikyu. I guess that's fine. Um, not sure if I knock off, uh, knock out the Scissor from this amount after Stealth Rocks. I know Crudant is really strong, but if I don't knock him out, then I'm going to lose because he's definitely clicking U-turn here. So I'm not gonna risk it. And since I know he's going to click U-turn, I'm going to bring in my Scissor. Because I could bring in Magnezone, but Magnezone doesn't do anything against the Quagsire. I go Scissor. goes for U-turn and he's life warped and now he's actually in range of knockoff from my uh, Crudant but yeah um, he gets his Quagsire in and he might recover here but <laughs> I don't want to switch in my Crudant to a Skull uh, I think my a better play is just to let Scissor die to the Quagsire as he goes for recover so I'll be it. I'll just spam Bullet Punch. For Skulls. Doesn't burn me. Just clicking Bullet Punch again. He should recover here. Okay. Oh, he didn't recover. He went for Skull. Burn me, burn, burn me, burn me. Ah, damn. Because if he knocked me, knocked me out with the burn, I could have brought in my Crudant. And then it wouldn't have mattered if, if, he, if he burned me with Skulls. It would have been a 2 with KO with Crunch anyway. Yeah, I go for Bullet Punch here as he goes for the recover indeed. Okay. I'll just Bullet Punch again. I need to let this die so that I can bring in my Crudant. Need my Crudant to beat this Quagsire. He actually decides to bring in, bring in his Scissor. Right. Stealth Rocks. Plus Bullet Punch. 21%. I'm actually clicking, uh, clicking Sword Stance here. 
Doesn't matter if he knocks me out now, because then I'll get to bring in my Magnezone. Uh, he goes for Sword Stance himself, and I might actually be not able to knock him out there, the Bullet Punch. Let's see. 42, that's unfortunate. Um, let's Bullet Punch again. Oh, he went for Roost again. Okay, then I'm, I'm going to click Sword Stance now. If he knocks me out, that's still fine. Because I get to bring him a Magnezone if he knocks me out. Drop this. Goes for Bullet Punch and... I do die. It does take the life or damage, but I get to bring him a Magnezone. I'm not sure if Volt Switch knocks him out. Um... I don't know his EV spread. So, I think it's just safe to click Hidden Power Fire. If I know Volt Switch knocks him out, then I would obviously go for Volt Switch. But I'll click Hidden Power Fire. And now all he has left is his Quagsire. And I basically have to wait till he kills my Magnezone with his Quagsire. But I get to spam Hidden Power Fire. He goes for recover to be at the maximum amount of health as possible. Smart. But yeah. Perant is gonna do it KO that thing. He goes for earthquake, knocks me out, and out a moment of truth. Because he can still potentially win. Uh, if he predicts my knockoff and goes for recover, uh, then I win because I'm going to click crunch. But if he skulls burns me here, I might lose. I got the defense drop anyway, so uh, it wouldn't have mattered if he burnt me because now I knock him out with crunch. And that's how we close out the game. <laughs> so we we had a really, really difficult matchup. Um, let's see where we are standing now. He was he was number one, so some juicy points. I click play, but I hope you guys did enjoy that battle. <laughs> if you did, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already and leave a comment down below and Definitely check out my discord server guys. I have a channel in which uh, you can request certain Pokemon for me to use and Who knows I might, might pick yours um, This time again. I picked the nine tails from my friend shadow IX. He also borrowed it to me. So another reason to play it and How do you guys like the HO to play, play style because I have a variety of play styles <laughs> to play. Uh, just, I usually uh, prefer bulky offense over hyper offense. Uh, allows me to make more plays. <laughs> but yeah, just let me know guys what you want me to play. And I'll see you guys in the next video.